All right, maybe you saw this story. Uh, it was in Times yesterday. School districts in Colorado, they elect a widely conservative school board here. Uh, again, this is in the suburbs right outside of Denver. Now, the new board, they want some changes in the curriculum. Board is creating a new committee to, and I'm quoting here directly, promote patriotism, respect for authority and free enterprise, and to guard against educational materials that encourage or condone civil disorder. Okay, out for time purposes, let's assume we subtract everything other than their patriotism, because obviously they're saying, like, salute the companies here, whatever you do, don't speak up. Okay, un-American. However, promoting patriotism, is it dangerous? No, it's a fine thing. Yeah. It depends on how you define patriotism. They define patriotism as ignoring any defects in American history, pretending everything is wonderful, ignoring the, the genocide <laughs> of the Indians, ignoring Hiroshima, ignoring a, a bunch of things. That's not patriotism. That's boosterism. And there's no place for that, and the kids were smart enough to tell them that. Can you promote patriotism without it whitewashing the bad stuff? No, here's why. I, I would hope that you could. He said whitewashing. Whitewash. Wait, 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 but the problem is, as Richard argued, and I hate to admit this, that I agree with him, who makes the decision? Right. That's the problem. Now, if you got somebody like Brodsky making the decision, okay, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with I'm that, so sure for that. the most yeah. part. What about O'Reilly? But, yeah. but if, if, no, I'm with Bill making, right. and Andrew making the decisions, and Richard, but, but what if it's somebody that's, that's ultra-right, and you, you know, they don't see this world the same way you do. Is there a way, though, that you can do? I, I understand your point, and I think in the end you have to be right. But when I first read it, love a country isn't a bad thing. It's a, I would hope we'd have it where you can disagree with your country, but you can still love the country or whatever. They're misguided how they're going about it, but is there any part of it you can do? I mean, I, I think, I'll put it on the table and get attacked here. I mean, I think schools are, are, are too liberalizing in, in the country, especially universities. But I do think that there's a way that you can talk about the country and its faults and be proud in how it's always strived to be better to be a better country. Look back at slavery, look back at what happened with American Indians. I mean, th those are facts that occurred and that America always tried to live up to its principles. It didn't always, it didn't meet them always. I, I, I have a problem with this because it's a public school and so it becomes compulsory. It's not, and I was, I was a Boy Scout and, and there was a lot of patriotic lessons yeah. that were drubbed in, in in scouting. But when you're in a public school, it, it's, a, there, it, it's a different environment where you're just you're supposed to absorb everything that's being taught to you, and B, it's compulsory. You can't you, it, you're not left a lot of room to sort of make up your own mind. I would hope that a school system would give students the tools to come to that conclusion themselves. That 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 they would want to be patriotic and want to show you know greater love and respect for the country, and then perhaps help them achieve that or help them find a way that they can do that. But to teach patriotism, you know, I, I, that's something that's simple like though is, remember Pledge of Allegiance and stuff? And again, it got, went to the under God portion of it and okay. But the premise of it wasn't a bad idea. You know, it, I mean, it, the, not the dating you, but yeah. that there's a social uh, 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 view that's implicit in the words patriotism, free enterprise. What are they gonna do, teach about the robber barons? Right. What are they going to do? Teach you about the way uh, the workers were oppressed in this country all through no, the late I, 19th century? I'm with you. That the, part of the, it's a non-starter, but could you have a, the front end of it? The, the patriotism comes out of a knowledgeable appreciation of your country's struggles. I hate to say it, but Bill's right. Let people understand the good and the bad. Let them come to this themselves. That's an education. What these guys in Colorado want to do is indoctrination. And jingoism. Yeah, it's, it, and if you... If you teach adequately about the history of the United States and also teach about the rest of the world, I suspect your students will come to the same we conclusion well. that so many people <laughs> from the rest of the world have come to when they move to the United States, that, you know, there, there, there may be flaws in every country, but perhaps ours is the least flawed. Or I, maybe that's the... It, it just not a tangent, I don't know right. if you've noticed, <laughs> you know, going through it now, but if there's a teacher in social studies that connects with the kids, it is night and day. Um, from ones that may be mailing it in or the kids that don't captivate the kids because when they walk out of there and they actually like it, they'll want to go to Ellis Island. They'll want to go learn about stuff. Um, and I've just seen it firsthand here. It's amazing when you can get kids invested teacher, in American a history. A good teacher can do that. The time for lapel pin 
patriotism and boosterism and, and that kind of stuff. It doesn't work with the kids. Yeah. It doesn't work as education. The, the no, I, 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 I have a daughter who considers herself a progressive. She's a first year in college now. But when she was in high school, she and her Spanish teacher were the only ones that stood for the Pledge of Allegiance in 11th grade. Really? And to me, that, that's, that's a shame. That, that's a shame that it got to that. I don't think other kids were doing it to, to, they just weren't paying attention. But I think it was a little bit disrespectful. I think you can achieve that pride in, in your country without going overboard. I, I think there's a balance in there. I'm just so there. thrilled to hear that there's been a <laughs> generational improvement. <in> <laughs> I Those been a, his votes canceled different, out different 15 house. years. Yeah. You know? I, I learned to debate in a public school. I learned to debate pub policy and question the decisions that were made yeah. by my government in that class. And, and but A, yet, it helped me get here, and B... I, but yet, that, when you're at the ball game and they play God Bless America, you take your hat off and you stand up. I, I do. Right. I do. And, and I shout, I think, oh, in the last line of the uh, Star Spangled Banner. And on that note, gentlemen, thank you. Um, and we're making this question at home for you at home tonight. Should public schools promote patriotism? You can go to Facebook and Twitter to sound off. We come back, we're going to have uh, news making uh, headlines in the Hudson Valley.